In this tutorial, unlock the power of Flutter with our comprehensive tutorial on integrating Stripe payments seamlessly into your app Rocket Learn step-by-step -step how to implement secure and efficient payment processing using Stripe. From setup to handling transactions, we've got you covered. Plus, dive into the world of refunds, discover how to effortlessly manage and process refund amounts. Elevate your Flutter skills and offer users a frictionless payment experience. Watch now to become a pro in Stripe payment and refunds in Flutter. Add Flutter underscore Stripe dependency in your Flutter project. And then pub get. Declare your Stripe secret key in the main method with stripe.publish key. Create Pay Now button with use of Elevated button inside List View. And create Make Payment method with two parameter like Amount and Currency. Now create try catch block inside make payment method to handle error. To save payment intent data and utilize it for reimbursement amounts in the event of a payment failure or error generated by the server, create the variable payment intent data with data type map string dynamic. Create a create payment intent method, provide in two parameters, amount and currency, return the data, and assign the result to a payment after assigning a value to the payment intent data variable, we utilize that value to initiate a Stripe payment so that we may quickly complete the Stripe payment and refund the amount. Next, we verify that the payment was made, Stripe payment cannot be started if intent data is null or null if payment intent data is null. Next. We utilize a Stripe instance to initialize the payment using the init payment sheet function, setting values for its arguments, merchant display name, customer ID, payment intent client secret, and Google Pay. Initially, we apply a value to the Google Pay parameter by using the payment intent client secret function. Then, we assign IN to the value of the merchant country code parameter inside of one parameter. Value of coding is life is assigned to merchant display name. Customer ID in assigning value to a single retailer. To display the Stripe payment sheet, develop the display payment sheet method. Create payment intent must first be created before its value is returned. To handle errors while creating intent data from API calls, build a try catch block. Generate the body of the API amount, currency, and payment underscore method underscore types parameters amount in the calculate amount function. This allows us to compute the amount that corresponds to the real amount understands in the Tripe API. 
add a HTTP dependent to the Flutter project so that we can call the API from the Flutter app. To do this, declare the HTTP dependence and import it as a HTTP object at the start of the file. Next, assign the value in currency using the currency variable that we have passed in the create payment intent method. Then, without passing in the header parameter in our API call, the Stripe API would not function. The authorization that supports bearer tokens is your client key, which you can obtain from your Stripe dashboard profile. Then we use Jondacode to return the API answer. Now that the user has seen the payment sheet, we ask them to fill it out and make a payment. If the payment is successful, we print a message indicating such, if not, an error message appears or the user must make the payment himself, thus, this is an easy method to implement a payment gateway for your app and to execute payment integration with Stripe.